Calculus rate of change. Find slope of the tangent to the curve f of x equals to square root of x minus 5 at the point determined by x equals to 9. So to find this tangent, slope of the tangent, we will use the difference quotient method, right? So the difference quotient method is that slope of a line m is equals to limit of h approaching 0 for the function f of, if you know the point, let's say the point is a, then a plus h minus f of a divided by a plus h minus a, which is h. So that is what the equation is, and this is difference of quotient, right? Now here in this term, we know the point is x equals to 9. So let's find what is f of a. That means we need to find what is f of 9. So f of 9 is equals to, so we'll plug in 9 here, right? Square root of 9 minus 5. And that gives you square root of 4, and that is 2. So f of 9 is 2. Now what is f of a plus h? Let's find that also. So f of a plus h is 9 for us, right? So we'll write f of 9 plus h will be equals to, within this bracket, we'll write instead of x, 9 plus h. So we get 9 plus h minus 5. That gives us 9 minus 5 is 4. So that gives us square root of 4 plus h. Correct? So that is a plus h for you, right? Now, we'll use this formula and find slope of the tangent to the curve f of x equals to square root of x minus 5 at the point determined by x equals to 9. So y value is 2 at x equals to 9, correct? So the slope here is equal to limit of h approaching 0. That means we are taking a point very close to x equals to 9. Just h away where h is approaching 0. That's what it means, right? Now f of a plus h is square root 4 plus h. So we'll write square root 4 plus h minus f of a is 2 for us divided by h. So that is what we get. Now, this kind of equation where you have square root, now to solve this kind of equation, what should you do? You should rationalize. So we'll rationalize this, right? So rationalize means we need to multiply and divide by its conjugate, right? So we'll have 4 plus h minus 2 over h. So we'll multiply and divide by conjugate of this numerator. So we are rationalizing numerator. So we'll multiply by 4 plus h plus 2 divided by square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Now, if you multiply the numerators, it is kind of x minus y times x plus y. So the product of difference and sum is difference of squares. So what do we get here? We get limit h approaches 0 and square of this minus square of that. So square of this is 4 plus h and square of this is square of 2 is 4 over h times all this. h times, let me write it in brackets, square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Correct? Now we can simplify this. 4 minus 4 is 0 so we are left with h in the numerator. Therefore, this is limit h approaches 0 and the numerator is h over the same denominator. h times square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Correct? Now, h and h will cancel out. Now, once h and h is cancelled out, we can substitute h as 0 here and calculate the answer. So if you do that, then we get 1 over, if h is 0, square root of 4 is 
2, correct? So we get square root of, let me write 4 plus 2 and that gives you square root of 4 is 2. So we get 1 over 2 plus 2 or 1 over 4. So that is the slope of the t tangent to the curve f of x, right? So here we used rationalization, correct? The technique used is rationalization and that is why we did few examples on rationalization. So we rationalize numerator in this case, correct? So always rationalize if you have square root and then solve. So once you cancel out h, so rationalize helped us to simplify. Then you substitute the value of h and get the slope. So we get slope as 1 over 4, correct? So you can write down the answer which is slope equals to 1 over 4. So that's the answer. Thanks and all the best.